Welcome to another episode of Three Hungry Guys. So today I'm with my lovely co-host Jen, and we're out in Saxophon, about 10 miles west of Chapel Hill. This cool little pub restaurant that is in the, the city center village, a little shop, says a general store, a hair salon, a butchery. It's been here for five years, everybody loves it. And we're gonna take you on the tour. The place is called the Eddie. Which by coincidence, my cousin Eddie told me about the Eddie. So come along, enjoy the ride, and have some fun, and watch us eat and drink all night. Isaiah Allen, and we're going to get started on their famous burger. Uh, tell us a little bit of why you think it's so special. Um, everything that's in this burger is, is local. Uh, the, we make all of our bread in-house. We have a, a, a brand called Sax Ball Village Bakehouse. So every morning we have two bakers that come in and make all of our baguettes, they make all of our burger buns, they make the pastries for Cup 22 next door. For the rest of the burger is, you know, all local as well. Yeah, all of our greens uh, come from Larry Doolin at Peaceful River Farm, a uh, great couple. Uh, the cheese is from Ash County, it's Ash County beef cheese. Uh, the mustard is lusty monk mustard out of Asheville. The mayonnaise is made with that non-GMO canola oil and local eggs. Um, and the, even the mango chutney that's on it is made from um, a company out of Pittsburgh called Corrales Chutney. Um, and then the burger, of course, is either Brayburn, Brayburn or First Hand. That's it. Everything. Perfect. So, and then our potatoes. Potatoes are one of the things that we don't necessarily get local because we have so many. Right. But whenever potatoes are in season, I exhaust our local farmers um, as fast as I can, you know, because that's where the money needs to go. That's awesome. I can guarantee you that when you film the restaurant tonight, there'll be at least two, two to three different farmers that we buy from that are eating with us. And that's a great feeling. Oh, yeah. Cooking's all finished, we're gonna ready to dig in and eat some of this great food. But it's really cool. First thing I want to mention, the table that we're actually eating at is an extension of the bar, and it was actually the floor of the textile mill that they ripped up and made into a cool bar. Very historic, maybe a Civil War general walked across this floor for all we know. So anyway, back to the food. So we're gonna dig in, and the first dish that we made that we're gonna try is the beef ponte. Never really tried anything like this, and uh all of the ingredients are local, so that just makes it exciting. So we got some beef shank, we got uh, little spetzels in there. The Cheese. Tender, really flavorful. And the spetzel's really good too. And it's funny, my mom's German and she was not a good cook. And I hope she's not watching this episode. <laughs> but the one thing she could make was a spetzel. It's good. And this reminds me of my mom's spetzel. So a nice mix of flavors, the vegetables, the green beans, the beets. I can also taste the orange zest in there as Oh, well. absolutely. It has a nice little orange twang to it. It really ties it in all together. So the next dish we're going to try is the meatloaf. They baked it, whatever, and they pan-seared it. And we're going to dig in here. All salad on top. Pickled onion. And a little of their house-made ketchup. Very flavorful. Yep, with the onions on top. Great combination. That ketchup, you can taste that it's definitely fresh. What's great, they make everything from scratch. So ketchup, tartar sauce, everything we're having is made in-house from scratch. Most of the items are all locally sourced. I think you told me. The salt, the olive oil, and the mussels are like the three items that are not sourced locally from the state of North Carolina. I think that's my favorite so far. The crunch that you get out of that is just perfect. 
So one of the most popular dishes are their cheese fries. You know, men are cheese fries, and even the cheese is locally sourced as well. You gotta have some great pub food, cheese fries, fish and chips, the burger actually, a couple local great pub items, and we'll tell you how we like them. That pimento cheese has a little bite to it. Tangy. Kind of have this peppery undertone. Yeah. Can't, can't put my finger on it. Well, pimento cheese has some peppers in it, but these peppers it must have a little touch of heat to it. Really flavorful. What's well, something I love about this show? I'm, I, I'm eating things I normally wouldn't associate or try. So now we've moved on to the fish and chips, which their version, because they want to keep everything locally sourced, instead of using cod, they use a locally farmed catfish native to North Carolina here. So we're going to try this. This has to be my favorite, oh. <laughs> Every dish becomes our new favorite. But yeah. No, really, this one was. We'll, we'll see what happens when the burger comes into play. Yeah. But. but I like how I'm like, all right, fish and chips are good, but... I've never had fish and chips with catfish, and with that homemade tartar sauce, it's out of this world. It takes it to another level. Chef even told me a story a few weeks ago. A local girl here, her, her grandfather from London came to visit. They came here Saturday, and he tried the fish and chips, and before he went back to London, he had to come back and get it again, because he said it was as good or better than anything he's gotten in London. And if you're better than London Fish and Chef, that's saying something. So here we have their famous burger. Um, this is actually one of the chef's favorites. He has this about three times a week. Um, but everything is pretty much locally sourced or homemade up to the bun and the cheese. And the best part would probably be the mango chutney and lusty mustard on there. It's kind of a sweet and salty combination. So. And a little house-made mayo in there also. That's right. So I don't think we can put ketchup on that. I think we got to go with the way... Uh, I think so. you're right. I think you're right. Now, is this your favorite? <laughs> My new favorite. Those flavors, and again, it's a fresh burger, seasoned nicely. And when you take the chutney, you can really taste that the cheddar cheese has a strong flavor. It's not a processed piece of American cheese. It makes for one damn good burger. Now I know why they sell up so many. This is not your ordinary burger. This is something different. Claire, the owner of Daddy. So tell us your inspiration for the restaurant. Yeah, so uh, my partner Doug and I moved here about almost 10 years ago, and um, we wanted to be able to provide a place where people you know, could be a part of essentially our living room, but they had a place to go to celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, uh, similar to a pub in, say, England. Sort of modeled the Eddy on um, a typical British pub, only sax bottle style. Lots of corners at the bar, um, tables that you don't sit too far away from each other, um, trivia, you know, other events, um, community dinners, and beer dinners where folks really have reasons to get together and have conversations. And and I've noticed there's no TVs here. No TVs? No. We want everybody to use real, live communication <laughs> and talking to each other. Foreign in this day and age, really, <laughs> when you think about it. So, so actually today, we're here not only doing dinner, but tell us about We're here for the beer dinner, which they do once a month. So tell us a little bit about the beer dinner. Yeah, from the start of the Eddy, um, we always had North Carolina beers on tap, always used really local um, products for our food, supporting our local farmers because they're our neighbors too. And once a month we sort of celebrate that brewery, they speak about their beer, Isaiah prepares five courses to go with five of their beers and it's sort of a celebration of beer and beer together. So I'm with Ben, the owner of 
Haw River Farmhouse Ales, and that's who's actually putting on the beer dinner tonight. Yeah, so we're actually located right downstairs. Um, we do a beer dinner with, with the Eddie um, every quarter, so we can keep nice seasonal beers matched up with their beautiful seasonal menu. Um, we've been open for a year and a half. We do, um, we do source a lot of our ingredients locally. Um, just kind of like the Eddie does. Um, we do all kinds of interesting um, Belgian style, uh, Belgian style rustic beers with interesting ingredients. Um, that kind of thing. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Once a month, we had some delicious beers, um, <laughs> exquisite. I mean, one of a kind. You really can't get any of this anywhere else. They have a sessional beer that they have year round. It's called the Miller Fleur. Um, really good, highly recommend it. So, not only did we eat a five course meal at the beer dinner, we had, as you see in our episode, <laughs> six entrees. So, we've eaten quite a lot and it was all fantastic we had a lot of fun it's a great place a lot of locals if you haven't been to Haw River it's a cute little town little village it's a nice quiet little getaway we're close to the Haw River it's kind of picturesque and quaint so you can see it back there but it makes for a nice quiet little getaway we had a great time so for three hungry guys we're gonna say goodbye for now Ciao. I'm sorry.